I stayed in this house for a few days. Yeah. Bye. Hello guys, we are in a place called Velangar, right? Velangar. This is like 42 kilometers away from Perambra, where we are staying right now. And we are visiting one of Andrew's, another relative. Look at this beautiful view, guys. Straight from their house, you can see the big mountains. Wow, lots of coconut trees and, um, and the Arakana tree. Wow, the weather is so lovely today, you know, beautiful. Wow, look at this. This is like a money plant, isn't it? Like it, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Guys, this is Arakanad, the tree I was showing you. This is the seed. They use it for various purposes, like making perfumes and uh, uh, some other stuff as well like you know people use it for like um, chewing you know like chewing and then they just spit it out what do you call it? yeah I just I don't know how to explain to you guys uh, they just use it for fun like you know they put this seed um, this is if you once you open it there's a seed inside you break it and then put it inside a kind of a leaf and they, they chew it and the color becomes like red and then they spit it I don't know for what purpose they use it actually but I've seen the people using it and I sh I'll show you there oh look coconut lots of coconut they're drying they go to coconut plantation here no so that's why they're drying a lot of coconuts to make coconut oil and that's arakana too this is also arakana this is also arakana lots of arakana in a region together with the coconut Oh look, this is a well. Guys, if you haven't seen a well, this is how we get water in Kerala. Look, so we get the tap water. Everything is coming from the well. You want to see inside? Ooh, there's echo. Oh my God. You can even grow fish in there, you know? Some people do that actually. The weather is so lovely, guys. So lovely. Oh, that's a cardamom, right? Is it cardamom or ginger? Cardamom. This is cardamom. Look at this, guys. This is cardamom oh. tree. Cardamom plant. Not tree. Cardamom plant. Wow. And this is black pepper. That's black pepper. I can show you guys very close. Mm. I hope there is no snakes or anything here. Let's go this way. A lot of arachnid out here, isn't they? Wow. Oh, they got a cow also. Andrew, what a passion. Andrew, what a real one. Andrew, what a very nice last year. 2012 will only. Arachnid. This is. Video on that girl. Guru Mulag. This is black pepper, guys. Look at this. Look, there is a lot of black pepper. Yeah. That's black pepper. There's a lot of black pepper here. You have to dry that and then it becomes black. In Kerala cuisines, we, and we even use the green uh, pepper. Yeah. Uh, lots of other trees, I'm not sure. Jackfruit trees there, Goa. Goa trees there. And what is that? I'm not sure what that is. That's a hibiscus plant. And now, this is, is the bunch of arachnid. That's how it looks when you remove from the tree. This is how it looks. Hello, do you know what is this dog's name? Hi. Woo. I don't want to go closer. Look guys, the mountains. Beautiful. Banana tree. This is a kind of fruit. I'm not sure what you call it in English. Do you know Andrew? This, um, this one? I don't know what you call it in English. This one? Have you ever tried it? 
kind of a tamarind like they're not bitter it's like sour sour taste but oh, that's the house uh, that's chambeka right this is that's another kind of fruit in uh, Kerala it's called the chambeka tree what do you think of our Kerala guys Kerala is amazing Wow, I love to come and live in a place like this. My place is more like a town, but at the same time, I'm from Alapi district. That's one of the most beautiful places in the world, actually, where I'm from, Alapi. And Alapi and uh, this is Malabar, uh, where Andrew is from. So Alapi and Malabar are very entirely different. This is more mountain. So this is a different beauty. And my side is more rivers and lakes and, you know, uh, waterfalls, backwaters, oceans, and that kind of my region is. So both are actually uh, most beautiful places in uh, Kerala. That's Arakina tree, a very tall. Can you see that? The coconut trees here are very tall, you know, very tall. This is all this land belongs to this family, Andrew's relative. Wow, very peaceful. This is a Goa tree, no, Andrew? This big one. This is a Goa tree. There's no point in asking me. Apol ini ende Malayali is in order for any angle. Ipo ane dikin na the Velanga ada na perol le restal tanah to. Adu, angle ipo tham sing na perambra le perambra. Yang le hotel le video itar na lo perambra. Perambra ini no na petron te kilometer on do ibade tan Velanga. Pebeda ada terrelate punya kanan mana diri kita, orang orang. Abang Andrew ni pebeda fully dah bentukalah, semua ariam. Kerala tu lebeda semua bentukalah, ada semua buli kari ada semua ariam. Tapi ipa ini family visit ini, ada orang dari tipan tu ni last buli pebeda mana. Abang karakter buli baru ke orang 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 mana ada. Anggane, kandelai pebeda nallah segun tu tu. Pecah ini lalu pergi kaket, ni pebeda kerjuda kerjuda ada tu, mana le? Usno ada, mana sih pebeda. Atre, tidak, masih nalla satu atmosfer anu udah. Cik nalla tanah tu, tuan tu katun, nalla katun tu udah. Bahawre, abra ini family kita ni, ani karnas salah elam. Urkurbaat tengun de, kamu gun de, kurumolag, elak ya, angin utri krisi anu udah. Ini totta perdaya tanah mala. Ini kani cer nello, beli er mala abra. Pidi naga tu nena kana mala ingen. Tapi malay ada, ini pertama saya dan nama kita kita orang kori kota ini pertama saya nak. Tapi yang lain ada lalu pun orang tu, terus pertama ni. Ingin ada kes talang kalau ana Andrew ni itu istimewa pertama salon baru ini. Pula ke UK ni malah istimewa. Pula ke dua lagi orang yang tinggal salat tu mana settle lah. Ada ana pula dia agam. Guys, Andrew loves places like this in Kerala. Kerala is actually very good place to get settled down, isn't it? Andrew wants to get settled down in Kerala. He don't like UK and uh, life there. He don't like it. He'll be happy to make a house somewhere here in a place like this and leave the rest of his life here. That's what he wants to do, you know. Bananas. Just be careful while you're walking because we might come across some snakes. <laughs> While I'm in Kerala, I'm always thinking about snakes, guys. Because this is in my head, you know. Because Kerala has got a lot of snakes. Because this is like a rainforest like a place, isn't it? So there's a coconut fell down from the tree. Look. Wow, arachna trees, coconut trees, rubber plantation, teak. I know actually pretty much all the names of these trees for Andrew. If you ask Andrew, do you know what this tree is called? Then he'll say, it's tree. <laughs> it's just a tree. He doesn't know he, what kind of tree is it. <laughs> oh, the mountain is calling me, Andrew. I really want to go up there. Woo! Beautiful. But at the moment it's a summer in Kerala, that's why you can see it looks a bit dry, you know. But the month soon comes, like maybe a couple of months after. It's going to be so greenish everywhere. 
even the streams and all now we're going to see the one we went yesterday everything is dry right now you know but during monsoon season oh my god everything overflows it will be amazing do you know where we're going well there's a lot of land here yeah how many acres is this ekadesham oru etra acre kaanum ee stalam ellam kodu that's just a shed yeah they got lots of black pepper karila veening kedakunnundo bhangara paada irikkile idakku vrutthiyaakku ayyo ennalum we വിറകിന് ക്ഷാമം ഇല്ലല്ലോ ഇവിടെ ഇഷ്ടംപോലെ തീ കത്തിക്കാനുള്ള ഇതുണ്ട് ഹോ മൈ ഗോഡ് ഗൈസ് ഐ റിയലി ഡോ ഫീൽ ഐ ഗോയിങ് ബാക്ക് ടു യു കെ യു നോ തിങ്കിങ് അബൌട്ട് ഗോയിങ് ബാക്ക് ടു യു കെ ഗീവ് മീ റിയലി ഇഷ്ടം ഓക്കെ ക്ലാക്ക് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് സോ കോൾഡ് ഓവർ ദിയർ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ വെദർ നോ ഹിയർ സോ ലവ്ലി ഇറ്റ്സ് നൈസ് ആൻഡ് sunny and nice breeze coming walking around in between this big tall coconut trees and arakana trees you know wow thinking about snakes <laughs> well, at least i don't have to think about snakes in in the uk oh there is cow dung i don't know where we going Oh, that's a nutmeg tree. Jadika. Maravondavada. Nutmeg. This is nutmeg. Guys, UK guys, American guys, and you, you get nutmeg. I showed you this uh, in my yesterday's video. The nutmeg that you, you, we get it. This is one of the masala spices, no? Nutmeg. Yeah, this is raw at the moment, but once it's dry. Oh, I had something moving there. I don't know. I got scared, guys. I heard something moving that side. I hope it's not a snake, you know. I really got scared. Anyway, I'm not going to that side anymore. Let's go back and do. I really got scared. Let's go this way. You know, I'm getting scared. Something moved there, you know. It can't be a snake. I don't want to go further down. Getting scared, you know. Yeah. ഹൗസ് He's actually sorting out some stuff with the um, coconut or I don't know if somebody came to take some coconut. So once he's free, we're going to go for a walk with him. Because there's a, there's a river down there. We want to go and see that. And the auntie is preparing lunch for us. So, so we're going to have some good Kerala food. <sighs> Oh, that is Cyril and his cousin. <laughs> this is a small one. This is also a reckoner tree, guys. It's a small one. There is a small tree. 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 Guys, this is all rubber plantation. All this is rubber. Rubber. Oh, and this is a cashew nut tree. Can you see? There's lots of cashew nut tree as well. Wow. 
Lots of coconut in the tree. Wow. Guys, I love my Kerala, you know, I love Kerala so much because I know I've traveled a lot uh, pretty much everywhere in India. I've been and uh, yeah, I've been to a few countries as well now, but there is no place like Kerala. Kerala is amazing. Man. It's peaceful, full of greeneries everywhere. But the only thing I'm afraid is snakes. <laughs> when I think about snakes, you know, I'm so afraid. Otherwise, you know, I love to walk around in all these places freely, but I have always this thought about snakes, you know. I got this fear from childhood about snakes, but at the same time, I'm very uh, adventurous because I remember me and my brother when we were young. We were going home from church, I guess, and then we saw a small snake on the way and we both chased up the snake and killed the snake, put it in a plastic bag, and we brought it home. <laughs> Can you believe? We did that, me and my brother. And people, and, and we came there, and we were showing to everybody, the neighbors and everyone, oh, we killed the snake. We were so proud of ourselves, you know. We were so little children. I, uh, most probably, I must be like, maybe eight years old or something. My brother probably like, uh, six or yeah that kind of age we killed a snake we chased the snake wherever the snake went we ran after the snake and we killed the snake put it in a plastic bag and we brought it home and we showed to all the neighbors they couldn't believe that we did that you know <laughs> we were so naughty but now i cannot think about it. seeing the snake itself oh my god I was telling Andrew just now because he wanted to go down further down. He wanted to see that river, you know. There's a river over there. So I told him, no, I'm getting scared because already, you know, I heard a sound like something moving uh, under that tree. So I got that fear. So, yeah. I have the always thought about snakes, you know, in Kerala. So if I see a snake, I was telling Andrew that if I see a snake right now in front of me, Andrew, I'm going to get heart attack. <laughs> But people here, they're not scared at all, you know. They're not scared at all. They've been living here for a long time. They say, oh, no, there's no snake like that. Oh, maybe there will be. Oh, yeah, by the way, the king cobra. Yesterday I was talking to you guys about king cobra. Malabar is full. King cobra, Malabar, Vainard, all. Lots of king cobras and some other states as well. But in my place, there's no king cobras because we don't have any forest nearby. Or my place is not like a mountain kind of place. So we don't have any king cobras there, luckily. Uh, so yeah, the king cobra, when it's very hot, either it will stay in the water or it will stay in a tree. So that's why you need to be very careful because sometimes, you know, like yesterday we went to that, um, the streams, no? that kind of place is king cobra's favorite. So if you don't see them in the water when it's very hot, it must be sitting somewhere on top of a tree. So yeah, and the sound of king cobra, man. I'm not guys I'm not talking about the normal cobra I'm talking about king cobra you need to search how Kerala king cobra looks like oh my god it's very tall and fatty and it will just stand straight it's not scared at all the king cobras are not scared at all of anybody it will just stand right in front of you and it can actually stand up to your height level yeah and they make a sound you know shh, not like the normal cobra even very strong and powerful and loud sound king cobra makes oh my god and the ice is very round the way it looks you know oh god there is something about king cobra um people say that king cobra is very intelligent snake it, it can sense everything can understand everything what's going on if you the king cobra see somebody they won't forget it's like elephant and a lot of other reasons as well in india people worship king cobras all right, so I'll have to stop this here for now and later I'll come back when we go and see the river because Cyril is uh, very busy at the moment helping his dad in the uh, farm. So, okay, we'll come back soon. I hope all of you are enjoying my Kerala vlog. And I'm hungry too. Tasty too, I can't wait to have some coconut water. <laughs> That's a fast today. Fast today. Used to go.
Frosted River Line come here. Does that come here? Well, I don't know that. Wow, coconuts. <laughs> Look at this coconuts. It's a big one. Can you see, guys? A small coconut tree with lots of coconut in it. Wow. Coffee or no? Hello, coffee or Pine on a lay. Pine Palm tree. Palm tree, a Looks like a date tree. Okay, let's go. Guys, we are going to see a river. It's a very big river down there. So we're going to see that. Straight down from the house. So Andrew says that he remember going there 12 years ago. Is it 12 years ago? I think many times. Yeah. Woo! Look, there is coconut, coconut husk. And there's some coconut here as well. Look, there's a small coconut. Why did they leave it here? Maybe they forgot. The arachna trees. The arachna and the coconut trees are the beauty of Malabar. Am I right, Andrew? 100% right. 101% right. I tengum nyan kandar tholam, alle. I tengum. Kamugum Malagulum. Idan Malabar in a trim beautiful Akanan and Nikitono. Yeah, that's what I felt about after seeing Malabar. You know, these tall coconut trees and tall Arakino trees and these beautiful, lovely mountains makes Malabar very beautiful. One of the best places to visit in Kerala. Ooh. Wow, this is a dead end. I don't know how we're gonna go down. But I can hear the sound of the river. Do you remember the right route, Andrew? Come on, let's go! Guys, I was telling to Andrew that we need to be very careful standing under a coconut tree because these coconuts can fall any time, you know, and lots of people in in Kerala die of falling coconut in their head. Oh my God, we are lost, you know. We are trying to find the route to get to the river. We were waiting for his cousin uh, Cyril after lunch, but Cyril is very busy helping out his dad because you see they got four acres of land here, so they're always busy to look after all this property. So. That's why he won't be able to come down with us to the river. He's working hard there, helping his dad. So we're going to go down by ourselves. But Andrew been to these places before anyway, so he knows how to get there. We had some very good lunch. The auntie made uh, uh, ghee rice. You know, guys, we've been eating ghee rice from the restaurant, but the, the ghee rice the auntie made was very good. That was the best one. Uh, she made some meat curry for us, but unfortunately, <laughs> she didn't know that we can't eat meat. <laughs> but we had it with something else. Do, 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 do. I was telling Andrew, look down carefully and walk because you might never know what's going, what you're going to see next, isn't it? You might come across some snakes. Jesus Christ! Take care of us. Stop recording and, and put that thing away. Because Guys, we are getting closer to the river. I was telling you, Andrew, that my parents won't let me go through places like this, you know. They'll be so scared of me that they'll tell there'll be snakes and this and that. And they already warn me so much, you know, when you go to Kapkem and all these places, be careful and don't try to climb on the rock and mountain and all these things. They, they were talking to me like uh, two hours yesterday, my parents. Yesterday and a couple of other days before, you know. 
because they know that I'm a, like you know adventurous girl I love adventure and all this so they're scolding me so much wow we go to the river the king of brass for every place careful 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 Jesus Christ the people here they don't think about the snakes at all wow Guys, this is a summer season. That's the reason uh, the river looks so dry. Otherwise, you guys won't be seeing these rocks. This will all be under the water. You know? <sighs> mm. Don't know where he's going. Guys, I'm going to introduce something to Andrew. Today, when we went to buy some fruits and stuff in the shop, I found this in there. And this is uh, this is called a ten mutai. Ten means honey, like a honey toffee or something like that. This one is uh, our childhood. You know, when we were young, we used to run to the shops to get this. You know, so this is like a nostalgic feeling for me. When I saw this, I was really shocked because in my place we don't find a, this kind of old um, toffees and stuff. You know, we don't find it anymore. But here in Calicut. I was so surprised to surprised to see this, and uh, I want Andrew to know the taste. It's very nice and very soft and very sweet. And look at the color itself. Let's see, Andrew will like it or not. One of my favorite childhood sweet. How is it? You like it? Yeah. Guys, I'm guys. I'm going to eat this after so many years, you know, so many. When I when I was studying in the school, like we used to run to the shop when we have like interval time. We used to run to the shop to get this, you know, this thing. What I oh, so many, so many, so many decades after, decades after, I'm going to eat this. Let me see. Mmm. Wow. Still the same taste. Mm. Then what it's like honey inside. When you bite it, it's juicy. Wow. Mm. I'm going to buy more when I go from here. Mm. 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 Look at the color. Mm. Mm. We used to always keep some coins with us just to buy this particular item. Can you believe us? Mm. Is there any king cobra hiding somewhere? Mm. Maybe on top of the trees? I don't know. You finish. Don't be actually out now. Yeah. There's another item called, this is one of my favorite snacks in Kerala. It's called 
unni appam this is very sweet can you see that very very soft and sweet it's made with i think rice flour jaggery coconut coconut oil yeah this is also my favorite so i saw this also in the shop when i bought it unni appam and the atom favorite snacks il onana kerala snacks il You see coconut inside. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the cardamom smell and this. Wow. Whenever I get parcel from home, I always tell my parents, make sure that you put only a pump for me. <laughs> One more. Thank you. There's another one looks similar but it's big. That's called neyapam. That's also my favorite. I need to buy neyapam also. It's very soft but because of my braces it's hard to bite, you know. Do you like it, Andrew? Do you like it? Neyapam. Ah, and there is a sesame seed as well inside. We put sesame seed also. Oh, oh. Guys, I can't explain to you this taste, you know. There's so many, um, there's so many authentic um, snacks, old snacks in Kerala, you know. I like to try all that. Sugiyan, achapam. Mm. And we make another item in um, in in inside the bay leaf. No, oh, I don't know if I showed you guys the bay leaf tree. A big, the bay leaf we use making a snack. It's called um, kumbalapam. We put jackfruit in it. That's also very nice. Hmm. I remember one time when we were staying in Andrew's uh, uncle, another uncle, but he's not in Malabar, he's in a Kotem district. I remember when we were staying in their house, the auntie used to make a, the uniyapam. So she made one day lots, you know, and we were just, she was making, making and putting it there. And we were just eating up one by one, one by one. So many we had that day. Do you remember that, Andrew? Yes. So Mandy was making uniyapam and we ate a lot, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Mm. And Runde Ruangal and the Cotetola. Our weekly young letter came there, take a port at dinner to day. Barbering and I bring a snacks of Kondago. Our Cochipula on the Runda. A producing a Unipondaki, Korean Daki and a youngling in a perky 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 dinner, or on Daki Vacundor, Nangling in a Yana and Rupert in her. I'll be paying your mom. Guys, the mountain is uh, over there, just a few minutes walk from here. We actually want to go there, but the thing is that uh, we don't know the route exactly to get there. And also have this fear of snakes, you know. I was telling Andrew that we need to be careful. We don't know when some snakes are going to come out of the hole. Especially the king cobras, you know. We need to escape from here before the king cobra comes to drink water. I know I'm going to escape on him, but I am. You wear a route on the Malagan and Bowen. Are they out here long? I'm going to. Oh, this one is the rock. This rock is shaking. 
My parents will see this, they will be so scared, you know. That's it. Maybe I should not go further down. <laughs> I'm gonna come back. I'm breathless guys, because we just came back from from the uh, riverside. I wanted to show you guys the black pepper. Can you see? This is all black pepper. There's lots of black pepper, but this is green now. But, you know, you see? There's lots. When they dry it under the sunlight, it becomes black. And that's how we get the black pepper powder and they grind it. You can put it in curries and stuff. Guys, one more thing I wanted to say that about king cobras. The king cobra is some bite someone. They die in within within few minutes, within five minutes, the person will be dead. And uh, even if they, they even if the king cobra kills somebody, we are not supposed to kill the king cobra. That's the rule in India because people worship king cobras you know and uh, what we have to do if you find any king cobra somewhere you have to inform the forest authorities they will come and catch it and leave them back in the forest but by doing that they are making a mistake actually because wait because when they go and leave all these snakes back in the forest they will come back straight down and they kill more people Oh, somebody wants to speak to me oh, once again. There's Andy talking to us. She, they live down there. Manga on the left tree. There's lots of mangoes. But she's a patch, Ale. Random asongura kani bam padkole. Apadani angal tirchu bom. Sherry Andy. Bye bye. Look, they got mangoes. Ah. Yeah, so guys, I was talking about that this is what happens in Kerala, you know. Wherever there's snake bite, is especially king cobra bite, or people find some king cobra here and there on top of a tree or in the river or in their house or somewhere, we have to report it to the forest authorities. We are not supposed to kill them. It's illegal to kill king cobras. And uh, so when you inform them, the forest authorities will come and catch, catch it and put them back in the forest. So what will happen when they do that? Isn't it? All these king cobras will um, populate more, put them back in the forest and they will come back again down to the houses and you know, even animals die of king cobra bite like a cows. You saw cows here, isn't it? The cows and goats and they get bitten by a snake and they die. But still we are not supposed to kill king cobras and uh, they take them back in the forest as you can see the mountains and the forest he'll take them back there but these snakes come back again the cycle just continues you know round and round and round oh a lot of people die in Kerala of snake bite guys wow but I'm still excited to see a king cobra face to face standing there right in front of me staring at me and psh, I want to look at the eyes and talk to the king cobra oh andrew is gone andrew yeah. oh my god he's gone i'm scared <laughs> so the andy over there i was talking to her i asked her is there snakes around this area she said to me no we don't know there's no king cobra this side but if you go further down over there that side that area you will you'll find king cobras and uh, elephants tiger leopard they come that you know the mountain that side is a forest but we can still uh, you know it's still uh, unpredictable these animals can actually come down even this area we don't know <sighs> anyway it was a lovely day and we'll be going back soon and i'll come back to you guys with another beautiful place of kerala <laughs>